hey guys, I'm coaching a nine and 10 year old coach pitch, or excuse me, kid pitch, and I have three players who have never played baseball prior to the season. Uh, they're absolute liabilities on defense and at the plate. On the same time, I have four kids from my 8U all-star team. It's like two different worlds. How can I get this group to gel and to start winning? We are one in seven. That's, <laughs> that's yeah. tough. I mean, we, we deal with that a lot. Like, not on our teams as much, but when you're coaching rec ball teams or you, we watch teams that come in here in the wintertime, it's, we deal with that almost with every team. You know, they have three or four elite kids on it, and then the rest are, some of them are okay, and then some never played before. So what we do is we break them up into three different groups to start the practice off. We put the three really good kids together. We put the three intermediates. We put the three that just started, and we try to develop them as much as we can, and then we mix them up, and then they have to work on playing together, learn how to play together, learn how those better kids can't throw it full speed to a kid that they know can't catch the ball. Right? We have to make sure that we as coaches are trying to put them in the right positions, but we also have to try to you know, tailor that and kind of lower that a little bit. Some coaches would be like, oh, I don't care if you can't catch it. Throw as hard as you can. Well, that's stupid coaching. Like, that, like that's not smart. If I'm going to take it to, and throw the ball to Johnny and he's standing right there, and just because I can throw hard doesn't mean I throw hard to him. I have to make sure I throw it so that he can catch it. It's a team, this is a team game. This is a team sport to where we have to make sure that we're being successful working together and we have to do our very best to, to coach up those kids that, that never played before. But that is a very difficult and tough situation. Yeah. And I, and I think creating those practice plans, you know, based on their skill level, because you don't want the best kids on the team to, to get discouraged and not want to be there because you guys aren't winning games. And you don't want the worst kids on the team to be scared and quit baseball. So like, like Duke said, try to break them up in the beginning of practice. And, you know, maybe you have one coach that just works with those four beginner players and you're working on basic stuff like, you know, how to catch the ball with your fingers up, how to field a routine ground ball, um, you know, how to play catch and throw accurately, what a four seam grip is, you know, and you might be working on a lot more advanced skills with, with the better kids um, to get them to gel and work together. You know, I would, I would definitely talk to the, you know, the all-star kids on your team and, and the better players and, and let them know like, hey, we're trying to build some confidence in these kids. You know, yeah. we need you guys to be the leaders, you know, teach them, teach them what being a leader means. You know, they're only what, eight years old, nine years old. Teach them what being a leader is and teach them how to pick up those guys. Cause I think those kids that are, you know, the very beginners, I think it'll go a long way if the, the better kids on the team, you know, pat them on the back and say, hey, you got this, you know, yeah. so what? If you make an error, who cares? And I think you'll start to see the kids, you know, work and gel a little bit, a little bit better. The last thing you want is those four kids sitting in the dugout saying, oh man, yeah. you know, so-and-so's up or he made another error, so we're not gonna win. So I think it's maybe talking to those four kids separately and saying, hey, let's, let's do a good job at being the leader out here. We know you guys are the best four players, but we all have to work together to get these kids to, you know, up their level of play and, and play with some confidence.